Welcome. This is all Midas Wine Quick Shots. So, folks, today I want to talk about the difference between authority, authoritarianism, being rebellious, and having a centralized and decentralized style command. Now, I am of the mindset that the best way to work things out is to be to have a decentralized command and control. And I mean that in all aspects. For instance, in the military, when they tell you what to do from upon hire, it is up to you how to get it done most often. You allow the ideas and the leadership from the bottom, from the grassroots, to come up and educate the situation. If a general tells his men to do something and they are telling the general that the lay of the land suggests to do otherwise, that general is not paying attention to his men. That is what centralized authority is. And it's the same within governments. Now, if you were to take Jonathan Haidt's moral foundation test, you may find that you may have higher or lower uh, respect for authority. If you are right wing, you care about all six dimensions. If you are left wing, you only care about care and fairness. You don't care about authority. This is important because it explains why much of what is going on today is going on. And of course, the libertarian types, which kind of are somewhere in the middle, are um, essentially, they have they care more about liberty than anything else. However, they, just like other right-wingers, have a balance of all foundations. So I bring this up in this because I am an anti-authoritarian. I'm a minarchist. I believe in having minimal government to do the minimal amount of things that, that we need done. That is what the Founding Fathers believed. If you start giving institutions more power than they need, what happens is, is they centralize and they become authoritarian. This is the nature of man. This is absolutely historical. You cannot argue against this unless you do not believe that mankind has a history or that we have a nature. Now, I say these things often, and I hate to beat a dead horse, but you know what? I'm going to beat that horse. And there's a reason why I'm going to beat that horse, because it needs to be beaten into people's heads over and over again. There is 40 centuries of recorded history that we can look at how humans behave. We have a whole field of science called psychology. We have the whole study and love of knowledge known as philosophy. There is so much that we can take into account. We understand economics. We understand anthropology. We understand a zillion and one things about human nature. So let's not pretend that institutionalizing the everything and making it authoritarian is good. Now, does that mean that all institutions are bad? No. But the more decentralized they are, the more freedom they give, the better they become. And the better the people are, the better uh, off they are. This is the reason why I often talk about or bring up, mention, throw out there, if you would, that I'm not a fan of the papacy. One, I don't find it biblical. Two, I, I, I see it as an evil structure of power and control and manipulation. And three, it's an institution that is antithetical to everything that is in the Bible. The Bible teaches liberty and decentralization. That's why there are so many church denominations. People ask that question. It's a simple question. If you know your Bible, you would know that there were 12 tribes of Israel. Why were there 12 tribes? Because those were the families, and they were decentralized. And the Bible is a story of slavery. They were enslaved by the institutions. God was upset with the Israelites when they wanted to have a king. Guess what happened? They took on a king, and they, they developed into tyranny, into wars. And they eventually lost their faith in their own God and were taken back into slavery. This is the story that's been taught over and over and over again. But because of dogmas, because of manipulation of the, the ideas of these stories, because people overthinking the simplicity of this, 
And because people who are evil and wish to manipulate you and wish to be authoritarian and in control, you don't know any better. So understand, authority is important. There is true authority. There are people who are black belts in jujitsu, and you would call them authorities on jujitsu. Does that mean that they have all knowledge ever in jujitsu? No. It means they are very skilled and can handle themselves well, and they know and have mastered the basic principles. And that's what is key is important, is the principles. If people understand principles, instead of looking to authorities, instead of looking to the experts, if you would, then we would all be better off as a society. We would have a much stronger society. Because we would have a society that would have many minds trying to lift us up and make us better instead of focusing on one person, one individual. And we know what happens with, with that every single time. And it's tyranny. It's not good, folks. It is not good. But that's about all I have for today. This has been all Minus One Quick Shots. And I wish you all well.